Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. Today is November 4th, 2021, and today is Thursday morning. So looking at the highlights once again, Microsoft trades to new highs, bringing the markets higher once again, again, and again. Let's see how much further this can go. But first, looking at the major economic events of the day at 2 p.m. South African time, out of Great Britain, we have a bunch of economic factors coming out, but a specifically official bank rate coming out. Now, as we look at the various markets, starting out with the Forex symbols, the Aussie dollar follows a dead cap bounce. Let's see if it does sustain itself or it's going to go lower. When we look at the indices, the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq trade to new highs. Dow Jones inches just higher, just about a little bit. Looking at commodities, gold unchanged, what oil tanks. We're going to take a look at that in just a second. Now, as the stocks, it's pretty much a mixed bag, but Microsoft trades to new highs. And lastly, Bitcoin still trading in its new range. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So here we go. Nothing going in the Euro USD. You see, we're tremendously in a very, very tight range. Really not much doing here. Again, the focus is not Forex symbols. The focus is equity markets, but a lot of people like to trade the Forex symbols. So let's just concentrate on the ones that are trading. So we're looking right now at the Aussie USD. We got this little bounce, which is considered a dead count bounce because it didn't sustain itself. Now it is testing that bottom again. And if it does break, we could see it further decline. So something to consider as we look at this today. Excuse me, today. Now, looking at the majors, um, just jumping into crude oil because there's really gold is not trading at all. Um, looking here, we tanked yesterday from 84.70 down to 80.47. That's a big move for the price of oil. Specifically, we broke a support level. Okay. Now we did hit a second support level right here. Let's just mark it so we could see it more clearly. Right there is a second at $79 and 45 cents. That's a second support level. But if it does breach that as well, we could see it back in 75-ish range. Okay. So just keep that in mind today. But it looks like it's at the bottom of its range. I don't like to bid pick bottoms but if you see that it if you do buy a little bit into it and see that it's not going to just get out but if it does bounce it'll probably you know give yourself a nice little bounce there now looking at the big board okay this is the dow jones trading at 36,029 points now look how much we've gone in the month of october to just one month we went from 33,800 in october 4th to November 4th, which is today, to 36,000. That's at 2,200 whopping points over the past month of uh, four weeks. Unbelievable rally back for the Dow Jones. Now, this is fueled by a few things. Great corporate earning reports, um, although it seems like the markets are in recession, but it, there's so many counter information out there. Uh, hyperinflation right now happening in the States. Um, but it's an underlining issue that everybody realizes that there's lots of things going on in the markets right now. So it's strong until it's not. That's basically the attitude right now. Um, looking at the, at the at the NASDAQ flew right out of the ballpark, 16,170, and it's still getting stronger. So unbelievable return there. Now looking at the specific stocks, Apple, not doing much, okay, a 150, okay, so it's not leading the market higher. Facebook got a little bit of a rally, but again, nothing, not breaking to new highs, right? Let's look at a daily. We're off of our highs by over 50 points, okay? If we look at Microsoft, it is on its dead highs. That's the one that's leading us higher. And this is the one you got to pay attention to to see if it does change character, then the markets may sell off. Now, we look at Amazon also dead, just trading sideways. So the markets are not necessarily expanding. And we look at JP Morgan also just trading sideways. They're not, tra they're not expanding, but they're, they're treading water. And Microsoft is just leading the market higher and higher. I think there are a lot of people that are short there and they're getting squeezed in this rally. Now, lastly, looking at Bitcoin, trading at 62,306. If you look at a one week chart, you could see that we rallied back. OK, we we had a decent rally this week. I mean, you know, we're, we're not at the top of the range. We're not at the bottom of the range. We're somewhere in the middle, but it's still sustaining itself about 60K. So that's a major thing for Bitcoin. And if you know, just play the range, okay? The, the the volatility is there, right? It's trading within 1,000, 2,000 points per day. So it does give you that opportunity. This is Fred Rezek. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.